Well, here we are, David, in the relative splendour of Slane. Yeah. Um, it is quite nice here, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. Now, I do know that Mick Jagger told you quite a lot about here. He seemed to think that the Stones had a great time here. Oh, yeah. It, it, he, it loved it. He thought it was the most beautiful place to play. So it's, looking out from the stage, it was the most attractive looking sight that he'd ever worked on. They also on. tell me that you went up and down the Boyne earlier on today. Is that yeah, true? we had a little, just a little boat ride up and down, yeah. Very, <laughs> very, very nice. the people with no tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, been, that's cold. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Listen, it's been a long time since you've been here because you came yeah. to Ireland for a pop program called Like Now a long time ago. Oh, 69, was it? That's 60. right, Bill Keating, who's yeah. very pleased to be producing this program as well. Yeah, and apparently they lost the tapes or something. Oh, have they? Well, they got wiped. Yeah, because I was trying to get hold of them. Oh, for nostalgia just, reasons? Yeah, just to, get, just to pick up some of those things, but uh, they've all gone. How come it took you so long to get back to us here? You know, I really don't know. We, I wanted to come on the Serious Moonlight tour, but that thing uh, moved in such a mysterious way. I mean, it, we planned on doing a much smaller tour on Serious Moonlight, but it grew out of all proportion. On it, it's really snowballed after the success of the album. Um, and suddenly I was flying, and it, the, the tour just got most peculiar because we'd fly from London off to Paris, then down to Germany and back to France, and it was very spotty in that way. And uh, Dublin just got rode out of it, unfortunately. But this time I made sure that we got him to do Ireland. So I really wanted to do Ireland this last time. So I'm you very pleased. You have friends here as well, don't you? Yeah, I have a couple of friends here. Yeah. And of course, the Glass Spider tour is, is, I mean, you're just in here from Barcelona. Yeah. Um, and North America is weeks away. Yeah, it's not that long. It's two weeks, three weeks, three weeks away. And how many dates over there? Oh, Lord. It's a full two months. So I guess it must be something like uh, 50 over there. And then when we finish that, um, I'm going to go through to Russia. That's the next one. Excellent. And we do five cities there. We do Moscow, Leningrad, and we've been offered three others. One of them, Minsk. And uh, I don't know what the other two are, or I can't pronounce them. One Will of the they two. Tell you when we get there? <laughs> They'll probably tell us when we get there, yeah. I suppose Elton John was the one that opened up that door. Um, I, it certainly was the first uh, pop artist, to my knowledge, to have worked there, yeah. But this year has been very fruitful in, in uh, letting Western acts go in. At the moment, there's, uh, Bill Graham's just taken a bunch of uh, uh, sort of 60s artists over. He took over Santana and who else was it there? The Doobie Brothers, was it? Doobie Brothers, Bonnie Ray, uh, and a kind of a peace concert thing, which uh, was very successful, my understanding, is they got something like 25,000 kids. It was just great. You're obviously looking forward to going Oh, there. it's going to be wonderful. I've been there as a tourist. I'm going to have to put these on, put excuse on. me. I've got a you. very weak left eye. And it's, it's not the sun itself, but it's the ultraviolet. The glare coming through. Yeah, I have a pupil which is permanently enlarged, so I, can't, I see very well at night, but not so good in the day. It's great on TV. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was, it's not, this is not being poncy, so I really need it, folks. Um, and, uh, yeah, I went, I went to Russia about four or five times, and uh, twice I've taken the Trans-Siberian Express over. So I've really been into the heartland. I really been into the heartlands you of Russia. You went as a tourist, just yeah, to see just what as like a tourist, yourself. yeah. And I adore, I adore the people over there. I had a wonderful time. And really, the only, only thing that I found bureaucratic was uh, Moscow itself, uh, which is a little bit like central casting. I mean, the people are very, very bureaucratic there. But I think that's the public face that the older governments wished people to perceive Russia as being. But things are changing under uh, Gorbachev quite radically. Um, I don't know how much he's got the Politburo behind him. I think one of his different stories, but I think he's trying to accelerate change as much as he can in the short time that I feel he might have in power. Of course, you are a follower of politics. Not politics so much, but social change, yeah, which of course incorporates politics. But uh, it's, uh, I think it's the most reassuring thing to have happened in ages to have uh, Gorbachev step in and try and bring in this new guard. I think that's most encouraging. And if the Americans can see that that is a good thing, then maybe things could work out a lot better.